how you all doing welcome back my name is Eunice your village girl <laughs> so guys welcome back once again okay let me stop the joke now um, my name is Eunice is it your first time on this channel please if it is and you're not subscribed make sure you are subscribed and you are so much welcome to this family here it's about village village life i uh, at least uh, okay somebody just told me actually in the comment section that her village is turning into a city i used to think everyone has a village but after reading that comment it looks like some people don't have a village so don't worry i'm bringing my village so we can share it with you so welcome to my village <laughs> so guys today i'm in the kitchen and i'm not really cooking food i'm only going to show you something that i grew up seeing my mother doing i grew up seeing uh people doing and yes today i want to share it with you it's some herbal medicine guys right here so i remember when we were growing up if you're sick before even they test you <laughs> that was weird okay but that, that's what used to happen let me tell you if you're sick maybe from nowhere just start throwing up or from nowhere you you just start feeling you know when a child is sick you can tell because they'll stop playing the way they used to do or you know the, the, the life will change so when they just see those signs like mm, here we go <laughs> they just start making for you hub straight away without testing whether it's malaria whether it's typhoid whether it's what god knows what i don't even know the name of those sicknesses it was always assumed it is malaria so this is a good treatment for malaria from my experience of growing up because i personally also took it but <laughs> so bitter in that in fact for me <laughs> it, would be, it would be by force when i take it then i go and drink a lot of water to make sure that it rinses it off so guys this unfortunately it's not near my home here i plucked it from somewhere really actually i just bumped onto it and i'm like okay I should I think I should share this with my family online then I'm like okay let me just pluck it unfortunately I didn't even have a phone to record when I was plucking this so I just plucked it from some tree in my language I don't know if that is even my language they call it Neem I don't know if that is really really the name but like I told you guys I'm only doing this from how I've seen it being done and how I've had it being called people call it Neem in my area I don't know it's exact name actually i don't know whether that is an english word or not so guys how about i show you how this is made first of all it is something very bitter i have warned you already now you pluck this off the leaves or you could even just pluck from here the green part like that And this tree grows really high you know that you know that tree which we have outside here hmm? most of you know it <laughs> i don't know how else to show you because i'm inside but it grows to that height like it's a tall tree so this treats malaria but like i told you for us we used not to be able to test whether it is malaria somebody is suffering from or not we'll just go ahead and drink this so it just rinse off the dust the whatever and then after washing it off you could either pound it or just boil it straight but if you want to make a max because the the, the the target is to extract the juice that comes out of this so if you want to get maximum juice out of it the best way is to pound it so let me just pound this so i could just pound a little bit just to show you anyway i want to show you that both ways work so i'm not going to pound others and i'm going to pound others just to show you that in either way it works so let me just pound this very little Uh-huh, another thing I've just remembered. Another thing that um growing up I've seen people treat this with actually a person I also used it. Remember last time I told you that I have a tooth 
problem like it had started to hurt me so what i would do is this same liquid that you extract out of it you drop it onto your tooth like maybe the gum or if you have any tooth which is like decaying or something you drop it onto that but remember it is bitter so that <laughs> you know how we do it you dodge your tongue from the tooth <laughs> if you know what i'm saying it's really crazy but that is what i would do anyway <laughs> I lift my tongue away so that the, the liquid does not touch my tongue like you know it's the tongue that gives you the tests so if it just drops on the tooth without my tongue somehow it survive the, the bitterness it's kind of getting stuck on the motor I'm just dropping a little water to make it easy to pound So guys, this is just one of them. Just because I landed on this, that is why I chose to share this with you. But we have others. Unfortunately, okay, there's a way we call them here, which I cannot be very sure if those are really the real names. So, I don't really know. But there's another one they call, is it Moringa? Please let me know if, if you know any herb um, called Moringa and how you guys use it, yeah? It does not really have to pound until maybe it's juice over. The, the, the target is to just to, you know, when it's kind of like that, you can just boil it like that. You don't have to pound it until it's like to zero. To avoid wasting, arrange that. So you can either pound it like that or wash it straight and just put it into your pan and boil. So just actually put some hot water here just not to avoid to avoid wasting time. <laughs> you can just add in this. So at this point we're going to leave it to boil like real boiling yeah and actually you're going to notice that the juice that comes out of it is green so let me just leave this here and then cover it Okay, so first of all, somebody gave me this idea that I should put a table. Actually, a lot of people in the comment section that I should use a table for my work surface. It's not our kind of thing. I, I think I have been replying some of you that this is not our kind of a kitchen setup or whatever. As it's bending, you have to bend. Okay, I've noticed this is comfortable. So, <laughs> thank you to the people who really told me I should make a table or something. I think all I'm left with doing is to... I want to work on this floor then I'll try to arrange the table just on the wall side so that it's not in the middle of the room like this. This was just trial but I think I've noticed the comfort that comes with it. So thank you. Let's wait for our hub to boil. <laughs> okay, first of all this thing has a scent and you know when you just open like this like it really comes straight onto your nose. It's starting to boil I think you can see. But that's not enough so let's give it more time to boil. myself and here we are i think i notice how the color has changed actually i kept this i didn't warn you like i didn't tip you that i kept this but i wanted to compare this so that you know how it looks like you see when it has actually boiled properly so you can see the color difference this is not boiled and this is boiled so you can see how far they look different from each other so guys this is just how it looks like now what i'm going to do is to to cool then sieve or sieve then leave it to cool either way this here it is now let me see this okay not very hot
but guys like i warned you about the bitterness hmm it is not a joke actually i'm fiery <laughs> i think i just want a sip not even a sip a drop because I, I think i told you earlier on that this used to be a fight for me to take it i would like i would have to fight with a person giving me you, you get what i'm trying to say like they would hold my nose like this and then definitely because i'm not breathing so i'll have to open my mouth by force then they just pour it like that like you know what i'm saying so right now that nobody's really holding my nose to force me take it you think i'm just going to hold my nose by myself and drink it by force mm -mm. <laughs> no 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 i'm just going to take it <laughs> Okay. You know, <laughs> let me just eat something to clear this off. Otherwise, my tongue is not just feeling good. Woo, this thing is bitter. You can imagine I just did a drop and just licked. And then I had to drink a lot of water just to dilute it. Guys, it is bitter. When I say bitter, just know it is so... Maybe when I'm sick, then I can really take this. But when I'm not sick like this, mm -mm, I won't kill myself. I'm out.